I think Baywatch was really big around the world, you know, Asia, Europe, like there was Baywatch just stood for the quintess, quintessential American dream, I think. And and I was I was very young. I was like seven or eight. But my mom used to love the show. And I remember when the music used to start is when we used to we dashed to the couch, you know, the that bit. I was like, oh, my God, the show's on. Um, so it, I think it basic. I believe that's what America looked like, actually. Before I got here, I thought everyone was blonde and everyone was in great shape and there were beaches everywhere and no one wore shoes and uh, then I landed into New York. <laughs> I've always tried to um, fight for that in a way, like even when I did Quantico, it was not written for an Indian girl, you know, but as, it's my job as an actor to be able to deliver whatever is written and add to it. If I'm not an asset, then there's no point of hiring me, right? You'd hire just anyone. Um, so, and that's what I did with Baywatch as well. Like, I think Seth and I were on the same page about what Victoria should be like and, you know, where she came from. She wasn't just a drug dealing evil person. She, she had, she was driven. She was, she was a force to reckon with. And, you know, it, not a, a lot of girls can say you took on the rock, you know. That, so all of those things were super exciting for me. And I really want to be one of the champions to pave the way for interesting casting, like you said, you know, casting of people because they're good at what they do, not what they look like, you know, or, or the color of their skin or where they came from. And I'm, and I've really had the ability to do that in America so far, at least with my two projects. Seth and I talked a lot, like I was very, you know, in a comedy when you play a villain, it could easily be cheesy or a caricature. But what I loved about Victoria was that I wanted to make her really real. I wanted the absurd things that she did to be so nonchalant that, you know, when a stool comes out for her, she just stands on it because that's just her normal. Or when a guy asks her for a raise and says, um, could I have some more money to keep my mouth shut? She's like, oh, you're blackmailing me. And then the next day he's dead. You know, so things like that. Like I wanted her normal to be really normal for her because that's when it'll be absurd for the audience. I think that was really important for her to find that balance. I've always done multiple characters together, but I do have a trick. Um, I, 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 I love perfume and scents. Um, I have a different scent for every character that I play. Um, and I think scents, olfactory senses are so, like they take you back to memories. So whenever I wear a scent for a perfume or for a movie, as soon as I spray it and I get into character, I kind of know what I'm doing. I was the one who lucked out, you mean? I didn't have to be on a diet of an almond and work out for five hours and wear those really tiny outfits where you're, everything is on display. It was, you know, it's hard. You have to suck it in and like, it, it, you've got to like be in that crazy shape. And I was nowhere close to jealous. I was sitting under my umbrella with my stilettos on, you know, sipping a Mai Tai, eating a pizza, <laughs> while everyone else was starving <laughs> and going to the gym. I think the, it, st it stood for quintessential television at that point. And even right now, what was amazing about the show that time was that it was about teamwork and camaraderie and doing something bigger than yourself. But at the same time, it like this, the movie takes that spirit spins it into a rated R, little dirty, sort of fun movie, and that's the only way to do it now. You can't take it so seriously. You can't be like, you know, when you say Avengers of, of the Beach, it's, it's funny, it's not serious. And we're making jokes about ourselves, which makes it really great. I think the evolution of entertainment is so great right now. We can imagine or think of anything and put it out and people will consume it because there's so many different kinds of entertainment that people watch. And I think comedy has definitely evolved. I mean, I was a little like, okay, this is racy. And the first time I said the F word, I, you know, my ears went red because I've never said it on camera. Like, you know, <laughs> you say it generally, not when the camera's on. So I, like my ears were red, my toes were curling. I was like, oh my God. So it was, it was a lot of fun though. I got used to it after that. 
Because it's just, it's like a no-brainer kind of a movie. You don't have to overthink it. You go in there, entertain yourself, relax, laugh for like a couple of hours and, and go out into the world. And you know, everything happening around the world right now, it's just a tough place to live in. And I think people need a reason to laugh. So I think Baywatch is coming at a time where you just need comic relief and it's that movie. And then it'll want you to go onto a beach and we'll get into a bathing suit.